Fine silk threads are uncoiled from these white cocoons and wound onto a big roll. Every silkworm cocoon consists of a thread of up to one kilometre in length. This small workshop in Rubigan, Canton Bern, is run by farmer and textile engineer Uli Ramsayer. It was his idea to restart silk production in Switzerland. In past centuries, it was always in high demand. Kings, princesses and cardinals all wore silk. Apart from that, it has a natural sheen that no other fibre has, a kind of nobility. Uli Ramsayer cooks the dried cocoons in a big pot to soften them and to detach the silk glue. Then the beginning of each thread has to be found on every cocoon. I stir the cocoons in the pot and sooner or later a thread begins to hang from the stalk. I repeat this two or three times so that the start of the thread hangs from each of the cocoons. Then the unwinding process can begin and Swiss silk is produced. But the greedy little worms that pupate into cocoons take a lot of looking after. There are 12 silkworm breeders in Switzerland, including Manuela Friedrich from Seeland in Canton Bern. She is preparing dinner for thousands of hungry insects on her farm in Villa by Seedorf. The worms need just the right amount of warmth and humidity to thrive. A grub increases its body weight 10,000 fold. When the worm hatches, it's two millimetres long. By the time it pupates, it's the length of an index finger. Manuela Friedrich feeds them 20 kilos of mulberry leaves every day. After a month, the silkworms pupate. She then dries the cocoons, which kills the insects. The breeder produced 30 kilograms of cocoons in 2014, worth 750 francs. She doesn't receive any state subsidies. So it's only a small income, but she doesn't only do it for the money. When they eat, it sounds like fine rain. It's the loveliest sound. The older the worms get, the better you hear it, especially when they're all eating and you stand perfectly still. Silkworms are vegetarians, and this is the mulberry plantation that provides their dinners. Every day, Manuela Friedrich walks through the plantation looking for the juiciest leaves. The silkworms would eat other things as well, but then they wouldn't produce silk. The leaves contain a juice they need to make silk. Back in the workshop, the little machines are working at full throttle. Uli Ramsayer imported them from India because they're cheap and easy to use. People produced silk in this way a hundred years ago with these machines. It's not very high-tech. You can get automatic unwinding machines, but we can't afford them at the moment. The machines might be easy to use, but the Swiss raw silk costs six times more than foreign silk. So far, the Swiss Silk Association that Ramsay has set up has produced 20 kilos. But the aim is to boost production to half a tonne, so that ties and shawls like these can be made from the finest Swiss silk. <laughs>